Good day, my friends, and welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles. My name is Chris, and I'm the Batman Statue Collector. We have something very special today, a showcase review. This one literally just out of the box, just started shipping from Sideshow Collectibles, and this is the Boba Fett and Han Solo in Carbonite Premium Format. Now, um, this is a really interesting concept to me. I really like what they did. Some people didn't love it, but I really like what they did, and it's sculpted by the incredible Matt Black, one of my favorite artists out there. And uh, this is all thanks to collector Justin and his fiance Cassandra, who took the time to film this for us. And also, they didn't want to appear on camera, but they did want to offer their thoughts and opinions on the piece. And again, uh, Cassandra is the one on the uh, the thumbnail there. Uh, they wanted to share that photo of, of course, receiving that awesome piece. And Justin is actually um, overseas um, in the military, so that's very, very exciting stuff. So anyway, I'm really excited to add my thoughts as well. And also, again, I'm going to relay what Justin had to say. And so without further ado, let's get right to the review. All right, guys, so here we go. And again, I want to take just a second to thank Cassandra for uh, filming this for her fiance. That was so cool of her to do this. Um, obviously, this is a very different piece. Um, it is something that you don't see every day in terms of statues, especially from Sideshow. But it is basically Boba Fett where he is leaning up against the Carbonite. Uh, to me, it is very reminiscent of Return of the Jedi. Um, of course, uh, you know, our, um, you know, our statue owner here, he pointed out that there are a lot of things that are nods to both Empire and also Jedi, whereas the colors, um, and especially the colors on like his backpack and some things like that are, uh, reminiscent of Empire. Um, also the grate that he is standing on, the light up feature that also, um, is from Empire. But again, the scene is kind of more reflective of, uh, Return of the Jedi to me in Jabba's Palace. Um, he did say that the the paint is just absolutely fantastic on this. Um, as you can see, it does have a yellow effect because there is a yellow light up feature. Uh, you can turn that on and off, obviously. Um, but he says overall, he's very impressed. Now he owns the uh, the Mythos um, Boba Fett, and he feels like this one is maybe even a little bit more epic in his opinion. Um, he really loves this piece, and it's easy to see why. Obviously, Matt Black, phenomenal sculptor, and um, you can see that there was a lot of thought, a lot of love put into this piece, and I, I do think the light-up makes it a lot of fun. Again, this is the grate that he was referring to where Han was lowered into that um, to be frozen in carbonite at Empire Strikes Back. Of course, Empire is my favorite Star Wars film. I absolutely love it. Um, you can see it definitely has a Star Wars feel for the base. Um, not only is this uh, light a feature in the base, but also in um, the carbonite on the side panels as well. Um, but as you can see, it's got a really nice kind of rusty patina looking um, metal base. Obviously, it's fully sculpted there going up. Um, and again, he did mention that how, how just how great the paint applications were. Um, he also wanted to, you know, give a shout out to Sideshow for shipping. Uh, I think he said, uh, you know, he was going to have it shipped overseas, but had it shipped here in the United States and it was only 40 bucks, um, which is incredible. He did say that the carbonite is a PVC material. So it is a lighter weight material. So if you're expecting polystone here, probably not going to get it. Um, the statue itself is polystone, but the, um, it sounds like Han and carbonite is more of a PVC material, probably just to, to help with the weight. Um, cause you can only imagine it might be a little bit top heavy one way or the other. Um, but obviously it also accommodates the led features just because something's PVC doesn't mean that it's, um, lower quality uh, PVC in general, from what I've been told is more expensive of a material than, um, poly resin. So, you know, that take that for whatever you, uh, you know, want to take it as, but, um, Again, I love the yellow effect. I like that it has that great um, shiny effect going up onto him all the way up into uh, the carbonite itself. Um, I think the sculpt of Han Solo, Harrison Ford, looks really good to me. Um, I'm very impressed with it. Um, I did just check Sideshow's website. Um, it is <clears throat> currently on waitlist. So if it is something that you are even considering, I would definitely jump on it. I've had tons of waitlist convert at Sideshow, so um, the earlier you can get on it, the, the better, uh, the better chance you have. Uh, the longer you wait, you might not ever get one, so just keep that in mind. But overall, again, you can see the detail. Again, he, he did point out that the, the jet pack um, was more of a darker color, which it was in Empire, whereas in uh, Jedi, it, they lightened up the color quite a bit, um, including elements of the costume as well. And he said there are a couple of different elements on the costume that are also kind of a PVC. Uh, maybe the rifle, uh, I'm trying to remember exactly what he said. Um, 
But again, as you can see, so much great detail on this piece. And I love what Sideshow does with their premium formats. They, they keep the price really good as well. And so I think that they did a nice job. And again, um, having the opportunity to talk to uh, Matt Black a couple of times in person, um, just to see, you know, how he thinks, uh, how he sculpts and, uh, clearly just a really great job. You can see the on off button there. Cassandra shows us, uh, you know, just a simple on and off. She turns off the lights here so we can see, you know, kind of lit up with it a little bit dim in the room. So again, it's just really fun. I think that they did a really nice job. And again, I love the, the light ups on the side panels as well. Um, just something different. Again, I know that not everybody might not like the, the leaning up against the floating, you know, if you don't have a wall, maybe put it up against a wall and it would maybe look a little bit better to you. I get it. I see why maybe not everybody loves it, but I love the concept. I think it's fun. I think it's something different. And uh, I'm really proud of Sideshow for uh, thinking outside the box with this one. So there you guys have it again. I'm going to turn it over to you. What do you guys think about it? I think it looks really great and I love the idea. Again, I understand why maybe not everybody loves the idea that it's attached to him, but I think the force perspective, it just it looks great, works. Um, definitely reminiscent of the, the Jabba's palace scene from Return of the Jedi. Um, just really good stuff there. And I really like it. I'm curious as to what you guys think. Um, I'm not sure if it's if it's on waitlist. I think it might be. I will put the link down below if it is, just in case you want to jump on it. Um, but a really great piece, again, sculpted by Matt Black. Just a really awesome piece by Sideshow. But as always, I like to turn it over to you guys. I also want to thank Cassandra for taking the time to film that. And of course, congratulations to Justin and Cassandra both for getting that awesome piece and adding it to their collection. And so again, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching today. I hope you all enjoyed this uh, quick showcase review. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to take it one step further, hit the join button. It uh, helps us out tremendously. See you guys in the back cave. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, I have partnered up with Red Wolf Collectibles, maker of incredible comic book display options, including this outstanding, heavy-duty, and well-made slab stand featuring an anti-slip pad and all the accessories needed to display your most prized slab comic books, just like this one here in my collection. And now they even have interchangeable 3D design plates that feature really strong magnets that let you easily swap out logos to match your comic books, slabs, or whatever superhero you want to feature in your display in an absolutely incredible way. And these are just some of the plates available for purchase from DC, Marvel, and much, much more. I mean, look at all of the options here. You can even have your own custom logo made. And they also offer magnetized comic book frames. You simply remove the front, place your comic book inside, and place the magnetized cover back on. It's that simple. It looks absolutely amazing and even features a built-in hook so you can display it on the wall. I mean, look how awesome this looks. Now, if you don't have a slab, you can also purchase their protective comic book cases, which feature high-quality metal corners and screws, and you can also pair this up with the display stands to give it that amazing slab look. Now, all of these are absolutely incredible, and make sure you use code STATUE at checkout for a discount at redwolfcollectibles.com. I'm so happy to be partnering with them because their products are absolutely amazing. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.